And I know for some of you it's very dear. You're really hanging on to it. And you always refer to it, always go back to it. And in a way, it's an addiction. I've been around spiritual seekers majority of my life. And I can see the attachment that we have to our past, to our story. And we keep repeating it this way, that way. This happened, that happened. We keep repeating this story in different ways. And we want other people, or we want our friend or teacher or whomever to sympathize, to hear our story of me being a victim. Poor me. This happened to me. I've been traumatized. It's, there's been injustice. Of course there has been. You entered into a dimension of sleepy people. It's an unconscious planet. Majority of its population is completely asleep. We're the few who are waking up. Of course you've been treated wrongly because you landed into a family that was unconscious. You landed with these people. Then you're wondering, who are they? How come they're my parents? A lot of you don't have any connection with them. Don't feel any connection. If you were to choose your parents, you would never chosen the ones that you grew up with, knowing what you know now. You would want to choose aware, awake, Parents who have awareness, sensitivity. They're not dogmatic. They're not robots. But that's not what happened. You landed into a family which is full of ideas, concepts, dogmatic, whether they're religious or they got their prejudice about this or that. So, of course, and... They have no idea what the hell they're doing. As most people around the world have no idea what they're doing. And following a program and a system which doesn't work. And keep damaging each other. So. You ended up getting hurt. And now you're carrying the story. But I'm telling you that this same story brought you to this point, which is fine. But from here on, you have to let it go. You've got to drop this story. You cannot continue with this any longer. And I shared with you before, I'm not your friend. Don't ever consider me as your friend. I'm not your friend. There is no friendship here between us. I'm being very straightforward and very honest with you. And I know you have love for me and I have love for you. But because of the love I have for you, I can't be your friend. I can't be your lover. I cannot and will not ever support your story. I only have one job here in this transaction. This is a transaction. It's like a business transaction. That's it. We give each other something. And then we're done with one another. 
My job is to destroy your ego. My job is to cut your head off. That's not what a friend do. A friend will listen to your story. A friend will sympathize with you. He will cry, he will cry with you. You'll have ice creams together. You'll watch a movie together. They'll hug you. They will tell you, I'm so sorry for what you went through. Poor you. What can I do for you? That's what a friend does. I'm not your friend. I have a sharp sword here and I'm ready to cut your head off, to destroy you and your story. So you still have time to run away. Because your story to me is just another story. It's only to build up your ego. It's only to keep you at this place that you're a victim. It's only to support an illusion. Supporting something never existed. I understand these things happen to you. I get it. Things happen to me too. But none of them are here anymore. All the heartbreak I went through, all the torture I went through, all the stuff that happened, they're not here today. It's non-existing. It only exists in my memory. They're just thoughts. And these thoughts, quite often, these memories get altered. They get forgotten. This story that you're carrying, it's a garbage bag. And this garbage bag gets heavier and heavier as you get older, as you continue walking on this path, the garbage bag, it gets heavier. And if you notice, older people, old people, their spine starts to bend. And as you're getting older, you're getting more bent because your garbage bag is getting heavier and you're carrying the garbage. So what happens every once in a while, you stop, you open the garbage bag. You go into this garbage bag and maybe there's a piece of salmon from three weeks ago. You're digging into the garbage bag and you find a piece of salmon that is rotten and there's maggots all over it and it stinks, and you eat it. And you eat it, and an hour after, you get very sick, and you vomit, and you feel like shit. And then you do that again. And then you do that again. Then you go to a doctor wanting him to help you. You're seeking help from medical professionals and they try to help you but they don't know that every once in a while you stop you open your garbage bag and they dig you dig into your the garbage and you eat rotten food and you get sick so my dears if you don't want to feel like shit stop eating shit don't eat rotten food Eat fresh. Eat live food. Go buy yourself some fresh vegetables, fresh salad, fresh meat. Don't eat rotten food. 